Hi everyone. So uh, I want to talk very quickly about uh, what's happening in Gaza and uh, and Israel. Uh, so just like everybody else, woke up yesterday, was surprised with the attack, um, and I've seen a lot of my uh, friends and colleagues they celebrating the attack because obviously you know I'm, I'm a Syrian. I live in Syria. A lot of people have very strong feelings about about Israel, and uh, there's some justification for that. Um, but what I want to say very quickly is this. It's not fair to attack civilians. You should never attack civilians. It's not justified in, under any circumstances. So I don't really agree with it. I don't, I don't think it's, it's, um, I don't think it's, it's fair. I don't think it's just. I, don't think, I, th I think it's barbaric the way they, the, the whole thing unfolded. Um, I don't understand some of the reasoning behind it. And this is something that I, I want to talk about in this quick video. Um, but I just want to start by saying, you know, as a Syrian myself, it, it doesn't mean that I'm celebrating today and yesterday because I, I was quite shocked, actually. Um, I don't understand the frustration. I don't understand why this has happened. And I was just as it happened yesterday, I was I was watching the BBC and this uh, journalist, Israeli journalist, uh, I think he was from Haaretz. And he came on and he was talking about um, the, the, the inevitable, basically. So he was basically saying that, you know, we, we, we locked up these people, 20 million, in a very small piece of land. It's the most densely populated region on earth. And we, we don't give them, they don't have electricity, they don't have clean water, they don't have access to job opportunities, they don't have access to the sea, they can't travel anywhere. So basically Israel, what, what, what it did, it just basically, it's an open prison where you get to to uh, to die slowly with your family and you watch everybody everybody around you starving and and uh, and dying so it is only natural that they would they would they would you know out of suffocation and out of the injustice that that's been that's been uh, that, that's been uh, subjected to it is only natural that they would react in this way and because of hamas you know the the uh, uh, the people in charge who are quite islamic it is only natural that they see it as a jihad, so they see it as a holy war, and and you see the celebration across the Arab world um, when 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 this happened yesterday because a lot of people are celebrating. So, what I'm saying is, you know, reflecting what what the Israeli journalist said yesterday, it 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 makes sense because Israel has the power, Israel has the tank. It makes sense for Israel to, 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 to rethink its relationship with, with Gaza and to rethink its relationship with, with the West Bank. And obviously, I'm just like everybody else. Two-state solution is, is the way forward. And given the Palestinians' dignity, and dignity means job opportunities, electricity, clean water, etc., etc. I can relate to that because, I'm like I mentioned in a previous video, I'm in Syria right now, and because of the sanctions, the U.S. sanctions on Syria and Caesar's law, we don't have access to, to these things either. So I do understand how important it is for someone to be able to feed their own family, for someone to be able to feel like they, they can stand on their own two feet, as opposed to like having this massive superpower, super military power, um, basically stepping on you and stomping in you up to the point where you can't breathe anymore. So the, the reaction is natural, really. It doesn't mean that they are barbarian, barbarians or, or, or savages or anything. What, what it means is this is the result. I mean, this is something that I say all the time. It takes two to tango. Um, and this is a result of the wrong that lasted for too long. And that's that's a bit similar to what happened in Syria, by the way. Because, you know, in Syria, there's, there's this situation with corruption. And uh, like a few people who, who, who like grabbed onto power and they refused to, to let anyone participate in the process and politics and etc. So that went on for decades until finally, you know, when, when, when the opportunity came for outside forces to intervene, it was so easy for them to, uh, to basically to fuck up the whole situation. And this is, I feel this is what's, what's happening here with Israel and Hamas. Um, I need to say before I finish, well, this is a very quick video. It's not justified to, to, to kill civilians, to, to kidnap civilians. I'm really scared about what's going to happen next because I know, you know, we all know how Israel reacts. We, we, we know when Hezbollah like fired a few rockets into Israel and then Israel decimated Beirut. I fear for Gaza and I fear what, for what's going to happen. And I hope that the voices of reason would, would prevail. But that's very unlikely given that, you know, the, the, 
the ultra right are in charge in Israel. Um, one thing to say about Hamas, you know, as a Syrian, uh, when the whole situation, like I mentioned, with 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 the big outside intervention, when the whole situation unfolded in Syria, Hamas, one of the first factions in in Syria's camps, Palestinian camps, especially Yarmouk, near Damascus. Um, they were one of the first factions to, to pick up arms and fight the Syrian army and, and kill and murder and pillage until the Syrian army decided to blockade the Yarmou camp. So this is a bit similar to what Israel has been has been doing to uh, to Gaza. But they didn't have any other choice because Hamas basically, they, they killed, I think they killed senior leaders from uh, Fatah, which is the, uh, the, the liberal, um, the PLO, you know, the, the liberal people in Palestine. Uh, they killed them, they, they assassinated them, and they took over, and they wanted to help bring down the Syrian government and the Syrian regime. And they, they, they received funding again, you know, we're talking about Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and they received funding, and they received support. And now we kind of, we kind of see this, this situation unfolding on the ground. So what I would say, just to sum up and to stop here, um, it's not fair what's going on. But there's, there's, there's a reason for it, and this is what happens when something which is like not right, something which is wrong, goes on for such a long time. The, the reaction is always awful, and innocent civilians would, on both sides would, would, would suffer as a result. So let's see what's going to happen. It's really scary.